Is there a doctor in the house? As a matter of fact, there is. Hello everyone, it's Terrific. How do you do? Thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. Today is something cool for me. Maybe it'll be cool for you, I don't know. I've got a book from a company called Amaranthin. Ever hear of it? I actually had to look that up to figure out how to pronounce that word. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it and I'm probably gonna mispronounce a couple of words in this video, but a company called Amaranthin sold a book called Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Ever hear of it? And I was able to get one. I ordered what they call the Doctor Edition. It's a numbered copy, limited to 300 copies. The first 260 copies are holding rights for their next book, which will be a, uh, a Sherlock Holmes book. I'm not sure specifically which one it is anyway. And then they have 40 that don't come with rights. But I was able, I set my alarm on the day the book went for sale. I ordered one just to make sure I didn't miss it. It took a little while for it to sell out, but it did sell out. And I'm glad that I was able to, uh, to get one because it do look fancy. And like I said, I haven't ordered anything from the company before. And here it is. It came a long, long way to get to my place. Uh, DHL shipping. Let's open it up. See what it looks like. Let's quit, uh, quit the searching. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. I'm excited for this. It's got a big bag from the DHL. And I want to get that off here. Playing with a knife flopping around while I'm cutting open this package here. But, gotta get to it. I've never done an unboxing in a package that was packaged in this way. And now I've got a cardboard box that feels kind of, uh, kind of like a shoe box. Thin cardboard, and it looks like it opens up just like, almost like a shoe box would, and wow. They, um, they said the numbered edition comes with some surprises and i'm not sure but this looks like one surprise i don't know it almost looks like a notebook you see there it's got lined pages so it'd be a, a notebook of sorts we'll open it up in a minute here it's got the amaranth and logo on it it looks sweet uh ribbon marker there going for that so that's a neat addition also i got a sticker some of us love stickers Gotta have a place to stick a sticker, a logo sticker. So excellent, we do have some additions. And then this right here, can you tell me what that says? It looks cool, what does it say, what does it say? Thank you for purchasing our fine press edition of Frankenstein or the modern Prometheus and in doing so, supporting our fashion for the creation of beautiful books. And it goes on and on and on. And uh, it has some instructions that I'm probably supposed to read. But, come on, think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> uh, but our shoe box has a thick, thick foam that goes on top and the slip case is set in form fitting foam. So very nice, this foam maybe comes in sections. So very nice packaging, I'm very pleased and I can't wait to get this thing out. So let's do it. Hey, look at here. Before I go any farther, look what's in the bottom of the case. Um, excellent piece of color artwork. Beautiful. And the illustrations in this book are from Jana Adamovic. And I said I was going to be mispronouncing words. I'm pretty sure I did not say that name correctly. I'm sorry. I didn't intend to say it wrong. But uh, Jana has done some very neat artwork. They call it photochromatic ink. Uh, that it reacts to warmth. I've never had a book like that, but we'll see that in a minute. Our tray case, they call it a solander box, and I don't want to drop anything, but it, uh, we'll show you how it works in a second. But it is 85% leather, and it's got a, I think, aluminum, an aluminum spine on the case. It looks phenomenal so that's what you'll see on the shelf and then a very it's it feels nice it feels it's got a little bit of soft texture to it on top of a firm hard 
uh, underside, so it's hard to describe that. But the case is very nice. It's not like a typical tray case that just opens up. It's got case inside of case. Can you see that? Hold it up so you can see it. So case inside of case. Let's put it back the right way so the book's laying flat. Uh, but a very beautiful case. It's going to look nice on my shelf. Let's open it up and see what's inside. And there's the, the doctor edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, as well as a scalpel bookmark. And I've seen pictures of this, but there's a felt lining. It's so soft. I want to lay down on that and go to sleep. It's so nice. Felt lined there and there. Uh, look at here. Extra. There's some extra stuff. There's some writing right here. What does it say? What does it say? You got to get the lighting just right. Can you read that? Some writing in the felt. It says there is something at work in my soul, which I do not understand. So a little hidden feature that I almost didn't notice. But let's get the book out of the box. This book is heavy. It's leather, goatskin leather, quarter leather bound spine, and aluminum boards. It's, uh, it's got plastic around it. We'll open it in a second. It feels like aluminum, and it's heavy. I've never had a book like this ever, ever. But... Give me a second. So the inside of the box, it's a purplish color of this velvet felt cushioned material here, here and here, separate pieces, and a cylinder box. So the box closes up nice and neat, just like that, and just beautiful. Man, I'm in love with this case. I'm in love with this book. I feel so glad that I made this purchase. So... Um, the next step is to get the plastic off of this book. And that's what causes some folks a dilemma. How do you get the plastic off the book? It means you get a very sharp blade, very close to your limited edition book. And this stresses people out, especially when it's got silver page edges and, and uh, uh, aluminum cover, which I'm uh, thinking aluminum might scratch pretty easily. Silver page edges might ruin pretty easily but i got a foolproof method of doing it to get this plastic off without damaging the book you gotta cut the plastic never cut the book piece of cake that's all you do and you're 100 percent guaranteed to like the results and i'm gonna push my luck i'm gonna keep cutting just because i'm that kind of a guy daredevil the suspense the fear. I like it. This is Frankenstein. What do you expect? Anyway, let's get this plastic off. This book, this cover feels so cold in my hand. It feels like, I mean, it's aluminum cover and it feels like it. Cold, sucking the heat right out of my skin. Unbelievable. I don't know if I've ever seen a book. I swear, swear to you, I'm not lying. I don't know if I've ever in my hands held a book that was this nice to touch, to see, to look at. So aluminum, can you see that? That's metal. Metal, that's aluminum. And it's got a surgeon's needle and a fine thread <clears throat> there. I don't want to touch it because I don't want to mess it up. I'm not sure how tender or sensitive that is. But it looks like the needle is embedded. That's right. So the, the aluminum is cut out and that needle is setting in there. I don't know about the thread. I don't want to mess it up. But this leather spine, quarter leather bound, goat skin leather, high quality, very beautiful. Can you see it? I don't know how well you can see it. It looks so good in the foil stamp spine. I am sad in a way that this book's not in a, a regular slip case to sit on my shelf. It'll be in that tray case to protect it. I still have guaranteed that. But it looks so sweet. It's almost sad that this isn't going to be on my shelf. Or it's not going to be displayed on the shelf. And then in the back, you have the Amaranthin logo. Unbelievable, beautiful production. If I say I love it, I'm understating this. Truly amazing. Look at the built-in ribbon marker. Your Smithsone binding. It just looks so nice. Every direction you look at, the, bright, the, the black threads in the binding. Again, the silver goes all the way around. I don't see a single flaw in there. I've bought so many books with sprayed or gilded page edges, and most of them have some sort of a flaw, but this one just looks flawless. Uh, whew, it's heavy. This cover is heavy. It surprised me. But look at our <laughs> unbelievable. Look at those end papers. 
I'm using too many um, superlatives, I feel like, but it's just, it's just so sweet. And the photochromatic ink. I've seen this done. I don't know how easy it is to get it to do, but essentially the, uh, and I think, I think this is an image that'll do it, so we'll give it a shot. If you heat the image, it becomes a color picture and it changes. Uh, essentially, I think the black and white image is Frankenstein or, or the characters as the story goes. And then when you heat it up, it's supposed to change into how things would look if only there was a little compassion, if only there was a little love or things like that to, to give you something different. So I'm not sure. I, I just put my hand on it. Uh, my fingers weren't touching it very well. So I didn't heat it up too good. But I want to try to get this to, you can see it changed a little bit. I didn't get it all heated up all the way. So we'll do this one. I'm not going to do them all. It takes too long. But I saw the guy rubbing it, heating it up on a, on a video. So we'll see what it looks like. So you can see a little bit there of how it changes. And uh, I'm not going to do that for each one. The website, uh, Amarantha's website, there is a, a page in there where you can go to each photo and you can click on it and it'll show you what it changes into. It'll take too long. I'm not going to do all these. But the, uh, the, the signature page right here in the front. Mine is number 28 of 300 copies. It is signed, again, I'm messing up a name, Marco Matajasevic. I think I said that right, but I'm sure I didn't. And Yana Adamovic. So Marco is the designer. I think he owns Amaranthin, but he's the one that designed this book. And Yano is the one who did the artwork, this photochromatic artwork. And uh, um, check out their website so you can see the images as they change. It'll take too long for me to do that here, but there's eight, eight of these images. I've seen a few. Let's find some for you. So here is one of the illustrations. Let's see if I can get this one to change. You see, you see uh, the monster there looks mean and menacing. And the doctor, Victor Frankenstein, looks scared. Let's see if this changes. I want to heat it up a little bit or try to. Look here. So when you heat it up all the way, the doctor disappears and reappears about to embrace the monster. So there's an example of, uh, of how this works. And I'm not going to do each one. It'll take too long. But this is going to be a fun adventure in this book. Let's see if I can find some more of these illustrations. <clears throat> I said I'm not going to play with them, but this is kind of fun seeing what I can get these pictures to do. And I just pressed my hand on here for just a second to see what happens with the, the bold dark ink and you see just faintly these guys begin to embrace so uh, it works i'm just not going to play with it much right here on screen to make it do it to it but pretty neat it's a it's a neat concept and i think that's what amaranthin is all about is coming up with new concepts stuff that's not done it's an excellent aspect of the company and it's neat to have people trying to do things things new things that aren't done by everybody else some more of this interior illustrations. Again, if you want to see each one change and how, uh, how the pictures change, but also maybe an understanding with a descriptive title of what the difference is between how the story went with people not trusting each other, or being afraid of each other, or not being understanding towards one another, how it would change with a little bit of compassion, a little bit of understanding what may have happened as this story went on. So uh, a very neat concept. I really like it. I love this book. Like I said, I don't think I've ever held a book in my hands that was this neat with the aluminum cover, with these quality, beautiful leather binding. The, uh, the Everything about this book is nice. The paper is thick. It is offset printed, and I don't, I don't know what you'd call this paper here, but it's a thick quality paper. Just trust me. Take my word for it. Or don't. Either way. But a very nice, very nice book, worth every cent I paid for it. And if I'd have known it was going to be this nice, I'd have been a little bit more panicked when I was trying to get that order placed. I didn't know how quickly it would sell out. I'd never 
dealt with this company before. I didn't know what to expect on this book, but I read Frankenstein earlier this year, and I, I really liked the book. It, it was neat growing up with, uh, with James Whale's 1931 Frankenstein and the, the monster played by Boris Karloff, just an iconic figure. It was neat to see that the story, the book, was so much different, almost unrecognizable in so many ways. So it wasn't like reading a book that I already knew. I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know how it was going to go. It was nice to get that story in. And I wanted to show you real quick this, this bookmark. It's called a bookmark. It feels, it's painted, I think, painted silver, but it feels like a thick cardstock or maybe a thin wood. I don't know, but it's designed like a scalpel. I don't think it'll work in a book unboxing, but it almost has an edge to it. <clears throat> but let's get that back. It's got a little hook here. Wouldn't it be something to drop this book while I'm trying to put this thing back in the hook? But it's got a little hook in the felt that holds it in place. Let me close this B-U-T up. And what else? What else I want to show you? I wanted to show you this print. It's a color print. It's in the it's in the shoe box type thing there. Probably where I'll stick it. I'll save that box somewhere. Put this thing back in. But a beautiful image. Beautiful color print. Unbelievable edition. I can think of nothing bad to say about this book. Like I said, between the case and the cover, I don't know if I've got a book that's that nice. I don't know. I don't want to say that, but it's unbelievable. And then the, the illustrations are neat. It's something I've never seen before. Just uh, Just... Touching it a little bit, I would see some color changes. I didn't want to spend the time here on this video to try to make it uh, make everyone show. But go on their website. I checked it out. It's a pretty easy way to see one to the next really quickly. I recommend it. If you can get one without paying an arm and a leg for it, I recommend it. It's fine. Fine, fine quality book. I love it. I can think of no more lies to tell. Thank you for your time. Say la vie. Baby.